So, it's Gaz at Fermented World. I haven't posted anything for a while because I've been a little bit busy. Um, I have taken down one of the kids' old toy cupboards and I'm going to use it to store mead because my utility room doesn't have any room for doing utility stuff in, so it's becoming a bit of a problem. So I've had to move all the, well, potentially move all the mead out of the way. Um, something really exciting, I've just opened the box, had a sneak peek at the mead that I'm going to be sampling first, which is the first ever mead I brewed nearly six months ago. Next month it's going to be ready, so November, it says 22nd on here, so we're going to drink it on the 22nd to make it exactly six months ish whatever um and yeah so this is uh what it looks like now does that or does that not look bloody amazing unfortunately there is sediment at the bottom but there's not a great deal it looks like there's more than there actually is but there is sediment at the bottom so we'll have to be careful with that So, out walking with the dog shortly after making those videos and a thought came to me. The reason why there was sediment in the bottom is because I was too eager to bottle it. I just wanted it to be done and then be like, yeah, I've done it. I've done my first mead. But what I should have done is I should have let it sit in the Demijohn for a lot longer, allowing it to just settle out naturally. And then when racking, it'll hardly have anything left in it like there's a couple now that i've got which are ready to bottle <clears throat> and uh, they're pretty much clear in the damage on which would give a, a lot less sediment in the bottom of the finished product because you don't want the sediment in there really ideally it's not really very appetizing but there you go you live and learn